Our cooking lesson is about to begin, but first I've got a little history lesson for you. Back in 1980, when the Coast Guard buoy tender Blackthorn collided with the tanker Capricorn in Tampa Bay, one of the first search and rescue units on the scene was XR. And when the Sunshine Skyway Bridge collapsed, XR was there again. XR is the Eckerd College Search and Rescue Team. It's manned entirely by student volunteers. And tonight we'll discover why it's one of the busiest in Florida and one of the best. <laughs> Florida Sun Coast, boating is a favorite pastime, but when foul weather or some other emergency comes up, a beautiful day on the Gulf or the Bay can quickly become a nightmare. Each weekend, the local Coast Guard gets as many as 40 distress calls, 40 emergencies requiring immediate response. With its current resources, there's no way the Coast Guard could handle them all without the help of its auxiliaries and with the help of XR. XR, that's the Eckerd College Search and Rescue Team. Mike Rossellette is a member of that team. He's a student volunteer on 24-hour-a-day call, always within five minutes of the XR Marina. Sherry August and Cindy Zano are also members of the XR team. Cindy is a boat captain on search and rescue missions, and Sherry works in the communications unit. You know, I always thought it was someone else that went out and rescued people and helped the community, and I never thought it could actually be me. Rescue to the Request to note there's smoke visible to the south. We're teaching management and seamanship skills to Eckerd students, and I think we're providing a real community service. Bill Covert was a founder of the XR program at Eckerd College 11 years ago. At first, the team's rescue services were offered only to the college community. But in 1977, XR expanded its service to the entire Tampa Bay area. Well, it's funny. The normal cases are nothing very dramatic. They're a, a simple tow or a, out of gas or a dead battery. Um, they increase in complexity to a vessel aground, a vessel taking on water, um, occasionally a vessel sinking, occasionally a vessel on fire. When it comes to search and rescue, are you really just well-meaning amateurs? The students may be amateurs, but I think they've demonstrated their professionalism and they take their work very seriously. And so apparently does the Coast Guard. When the Coast Guard buoy tender Blackthorn collided with the tanker Capricorn in January 1980, XR was one of the first units requested to respond in the search for survivors. Well, they're a very valued member of the West Coast SAR uh, establishment. How good a job does XR do? Outstanding. From the best of uh, my knowledge, they have never failed to perform and have done some very, very difficult tasks in an exceptional manner. Perhaps XR's most difficult task came in May of 1980, when the tanker Summit Venture rammed the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. It was very rough, and it was very rainy and dark, and um, we really didn't know what happened. We, we, know, we knew that um, a bus or some cars had gone off the skyway, but really, we really didn't know that it had fallen. And um, when we went out, I, I saw the tanker against the skyway, and then I looked up and I saw the skyway wasn't there anymore. And after that, it was just, um, we went to work. We first went down, and our priority was to determine whether any survivors or not. And from the uh, way the bus had gone down, there was very little chance. The top side was completely crushed. XR divers recovered seven bodies from the wreckage. What goes through your mind when you're doing a grisly procedure like that? You wonder what you're doing down there. <laughs> You try and look at everything as objectively as you can and realize that there's a job to be done. It's, you get a sense of urgency. You realize that the situation, it's really important to get the bodies in and uh, you feel you're so busy and you have so much to do, you don't really have time to think. Being a member of the XR team involves considerable sacrifice. Each student volunteers 15 to 30 hours a week for training and service. Some of them have never been around boats before, but XR teaches them all the basic skills of seamanship and then some. When I came down here, I didn't know the port from the starboard side of the boat at all, nothing. You learn how to manage your time, you learn discipline, 
you get fantastic training, um, you get a lot of comradeship, uh, the experience of working with the team, and uh, a real good feeling about yourself. I think it's fantastic that the kids will do this and just on their own time. I think it's uh, uh, a dedication that we need a lot more of in the USA. Alan Brennan really means what he says. Last summer, his boat engines broke down near Bunces Pass with a storm coming up. Then Alan felt a pain in his chest, and he knew he was having heart trouble. My engines are down. I'm in a current. I need help. How did you feel when you first saw the Eckert rescue crew coming into sight? Uh, I was elated. I had taken some uh, nitroglycerin to stop my chest from hurting too much, and I uh, was elated, and I, I did. They called to me on a bullhorn and told me what they wanted, which I did. And then I put the boat up and got back in, and they come aboard. One of the folks come aboard my boat with me, and they brought the, uh, they did the steering and stuff, and brought the boat into Passer Grill. The XR approach stresses teamwork because there's an element of risk in every rescue procedure. That's particularly true for the divers. Do you ever think about the danger? Yes, all the time. It's always playing in the back of your mind. You just realize that you're trained to accept your own potential and to realize that. Why do you take the risk? About well, negligible to a quarter of an To hope that one day, as a diver, we can recover from someone alive from the water. The purpose of XR is to serve the Tampa Bay community. But the way the students see it, what they get out of it is worth far more than what they put in. <clears throat> I'm from Ohio. And so up there, there's not much seawater around. And so I've learned an awful lot about the sea. XR has been the highlight of my good experience. It pushes you. It's hard. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of commitment. And it's a fantastic experience. I'm extremely proud of our XR students. They're dedicated and professional, and I wouldn't trade them for the world. XR depends entirely on contributions from the public to keep its operation going, and it costs more than $5,000 a year just to pay its fuel bills. Next up. Safe and sound at home. Such rescue missions.